Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Marketplace video. Today we'll be covering the free for the month assets for September 2023. So once again, we've got access to five amazing assets free for this month only, these being the Quest Editor plugin, the ArcViz Interior Volume 3, the Safe House, the Palace Hall, and the basic multiplayer melee combat system. So I'm going to be covering these, showcasing them and showing them off in today's video and obviously there will be links in the description down below as well to get these. So without further ado, let's just get right into it, starting with the Quest Editor plugin. Now this is a plugin to manage and create quests and dialogues for NPCs with very dynamic and customizable features. This features quests and dialogue systems, simultaneous quests, complete, fail and abandon quests, multiple starts and ends for quests and dialogues, multiple NPCs and much 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 more. There's over 100 plus blueprints and 45 plus C++ classes and this is also network replicated. And again there's a lot of different features on here but you can kind of see it in the video it's a very basic thing is you can set up quests to use for NPCs in your games. There are also pre-made tasks and a reward system as well. And it does also include examples of quests, dialogues, blueprints, data tables, game UI and tasks for easier setup and understanding of the system, as well as a video linked on the Marketplace page where you can have a look to see how to best set this up. Next up, we've got ArcViz Interior Volume 3. So this is a high quality complete apartment scene with 80 different objects, included projects with baked GI and Lumen setup. So there's not a lot to say about this one, you see what you get. There is automatically generated collision on these, but there are no LODs. There's 84 unique meshes with 96 materials and material instances with 72 textures with those resolutions ranging from 64 by 64 all the way up to 4K. So this one look absolutely amazing. This is again ArcViz, so that is architectural visualization. So you could use these in games if you wanted to, however they were made in mind for ArcViz. So that's not something which you're gonna be playing, it's something which you're kind of just showing off. So these are gonna be very, very high quality. However, with Nanite, you could probably use it in your games as well. Now we've got Safe House. So this is a post-apocalyptic safe house environment. And this is a story-driven, real-time environment using more than 400 assets featuring a post-apocalyptic warehouse that has been transformed into a safe house. So these are all AAA quality assets which are game ready and they have LODs and collision as well. In total there are 484 unique meshes, all of which have automatically generated collision. They do also have LODs, there's 133 materials and material instances, with 250 textures, with the resolutions ranging from 512 up to 4K. Accompanying that, there are also 16 handy blueprints, a level already created for you to either use or just take inspiration from, with AAA quality lighting set up in that level as well. And all the models are also modular, so you can completely make your own environment using this pack as well. So you can either use the one they've already created, or make your own very easily using the nearly 500 unique meshes. So I think this one looks absolutely great and there is also a link to an art station showcase on here as well as that will obviously have higher quality pictures and images if you wanted to have a look on there as well. Next up we've got the Palace Hall. So this is a palace hall with a Victorian vibe. So this features windows, walls, details, pillars, dinnerware, glasses, table, tablecloths, carpet and curtains. There are two levels included in this that being the demo one, which you can see now, and also an overview level. There are 48 unique meshes, all of which have engine generated collision, and they do also all have LODs. There's six master materials and 41 instances with 83 textures, all of which being 4K. So this one looks absolutely fantastic again, looks like very, very high quality. Obviously there's not a lot of meshes in here, but you can set up this whole room and also reuse these meshes anywhere else as well. So let's say you just like the look of the chandelier in here, you can just take that chandelier and use it somewhere else since you're getting it for free anyway. So again, I think this one looks absolutely fantastic. And finally, last but not least, we have basic multiplayer melee combat system. And so this is a set of actor components to facilitate the creation of multiplayer melee combat games. The project consists of four actor components and other blueprints designed to be a good starting point for prototyping 
all in the creation process of a simple multiplayer melee action game. Every feature is separated into its own acting component for implementation flexibility. So this includes basic montage sequence manager, combat state manager, ragdoll state manager and a simple lock on so you can lock onto enemies that you want to attack. Additional components include a projectile spawner and an animation sync. The animation sync is used for finishers so if you were to have like a two person animation for example of you having a finisher of maybe stabbing the enemy and you want it to be a nice animation for that you can have those two characters animations synced up so it works and looks perfect. There are four modes of hit scan tracing for damage. There's an aim offset, there's both first and third person mode which you can toggle between. You can block and shield bash, it is fully network replicated and there's the ragdoll state handling. There are 15 blueprints in this, the input is gamepad and keyboard and mouse. As I said this is network replicated obviously as this is a basic melee combat system. So I think this is fantastic if, if you want to get ahead and start creating your own melee combat system in multiplayer this would work perfect for you. This is just a very good start which you can then build upon and advance upon later down the line if you see fit and I think there's lots of great different components in here for you to set up your own systems. But I think that'll be it for this video of covering this month's monthly free assets for September 2023. I think my favourite one this time around is probably the safe house and let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one is and what you think of the assets this month around. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful of me just covering these assets and showcasing them and bringing them to light to you so you don't forget to claim them as well because again they are free only for this month. If you did enjoy it please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.